I am strong. I am fearless. I am courageous. I am beautiful. I can do all things. I am created to be me. I am a woman. And I am the funky. So, Mom, let me ask you a question. Who do you think plays the best me? out of your children? Oh, out, of my, out of my children? Yes. The one plays on her right best? plays the best out of all three of us. Plays what the best? It doesn't matter. Which, which instrument? I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Don't answer. Don't answer your question? No. No, because they're going to feel bad because we know. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Molly know. We talked about it a few times. <laughs> Why you had to convince her? No, she told me. She said, "Don't tell the other three. <laughs> Life is all about special moments, joy, uplifting our youth, keeping active, and having conversations with our friends, even lusting over our shoes and dancing when no one is watching. It's the music that keeps us alive. And my family certainly knows a few things about music and being together. We started playing music at a young age and been blessed to perform with so many amazing artists. Take a listen as we share another story in the life of the E's. Here they are, the E family. I always tell my Marvin Gaye story about playing and then, you know, the extra beat, that whole story. I mean, some people know I'm not even going to go into it. I want you to tell the story of how you actually got hired in that Ban. Well, Sheila goes to Sheila gets a call and she goes to LA to play with Marvin. And before she leaves, she calls me. She says, "Why don't you come to LA with me?" And I go, "For what?" She goes, "Cause I'm I'm gonna play with Marvin Gaye and just come hang out for a minute." And I said, "Okay, you know." So we get to LA. We go to rehearsal. They're setting up. There's Tony Flores is the other uh, percussionist. So there's, there's uh, two percussionists. So we, we're setting up. I'm helping them set up. And now there's a whole line of percussion. And uh, Marvin's not there yet. And it's a 25-piece band. So all these people are just meeting each other. There's a ton of people in this offices in the CBS building. Oh, yeah. They start to rehearse. And Sheila's like, come, just come play with us. I go, no, I'm not playing with you guys. And it's like Wawa Watson's there and Byron Miller and all these people. And uh, she goes, just come play, just come play. So I go, okay, well, I'll play at rehearsal. So I play a little bit. I'm looking around like they're going to kick me out of here in a minute. <laughs> they don't say anything. So the next day, same thing. I'm sitting back there, come play again. So I, I end up playing every day. And then Marvin comes in like a week later. And so I'm sitting there and she's like, come on. I go, oh, heck no, I'm not going up there. <laughs> she's like, come on, just play. And I go, no, I'm not. So then I get up there and start to play. he's not even in the band. I just wanted him to play. So Marvin, play. yeah. So Marvin's looking at uh, everybody, and he and I, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to put my head down. I don't want him to see me because he's going to stop everybody and just say, you know, what are you doing? You know, why are yeah, you? Who are you? Who yeah, are who are you? you? Who hired you? Right. So, <laughs> so we go through rehearsals, and he never says anything. So then I'm like, okay, that's good. You know, I'm going to go home. Sheila says, well, we're doing. You know, we have a couple production rehearsals at the Wiltern. So we get to the dress rehearsal. She's like, well, just come up and play on the dress rehearsal. I go, no, I'm not going to. Just come up. To, you know, so I get up there and I play. And still nobody says anything. I'm still waiting like, oh, man, somebody's going to say something in a minute. And then I get off. Finally, we're done. I'm like, OK, I'm going home. And so Wilbur Terrell, who's uh, manager. Uh, Marvin's manager, comes up to me. Peter Michael, uh, come here. And I go, what? He goes, um, you got to go get a tuxedo. And I go, for what? He goes, I just walked Marvin to the car, and we were just talking, and I told him, well, Peter Michael's going home. He goes, for what? He goes, because he's, he's not in, on, the, on the gig. He goes, what do you mean he's not on the gig? He's been here the whole time. He goes, no, he's not in the band. That's just Sheila's brother. He's just playing. He, and, and he says, Marvin looked at me and goes, Peter Michael has to be in this band. And so, because he he's been here, the all three you right. play yeah. all the so parts. He, so. so he gets in the car. So Wilbur Terrell says, "Here's a number. Call him right now. Go get a tux. We're leaving tomorrow morning for five months straight tour in the United States." You know, and so I ran, ran got a tux. Um, the first gig we did was was 
Four nights straight, two shows a night at the Circle Star Theater. Yeah. Right after that fourth show, we got wow, in a bus Circle and drove Star. to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 44 hours straight. And that was the beginning of the five-month tour. Yeah. So her stubbornness is what got me that gig. <laughs> story though about Marvin that you you know happens to be playing with Sheila but I remember one time uh, you know I didn't go on tour or anything but my friend that I wanted was a percussion player with Stan Kenton Orchestra oh wow and, you know that's a great orchestra so they were playing in San Francisco he said man come come by hang out you know it's okay so I went I was hanging out and then you know, come on up sit in I said, man I ain't gonna you know, Stan Kenton Orchestra, heck no. I said, come on, come on, just, just come. You know. Okay, so I got up there playing, and Stan was playing the piano, then looked over there, saw me, then he got up, and he looked over there, and he goes, who in the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, he's, he's my friend, he just, you know, he's a percussion player, I just told him he could come up and play. Goes, Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well, that's fine. You know, Ooh. I didn't. I didn't go on tour or nothing. But that's it was just, scary. Yeah, it's it was scary. a funny thing. You know, you go sit in. You don't expect that to happen. Yeah. You know? Tell him about that lady that that said she didn't like you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, 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 you tell that one. I think it was at one of your gigs, and uh, I sold Pops's merchandise and everything, and. This lady bought some stuff and all that, and then when Pops got through playing music, he came over to where the merchandise table was, and this lady was there, and she goes, you tell it how it went. <laughs> <laughs> well, she came up to me, and 
She goes, you know, I love your family. You guys are great. You're Escovitos from Oakland. And blah, blah. she went on and on. And How she well, loved said, everybody. Thank you. You know, thank you so very much. It's very nice. She goes, and, and I really love you guys. But you know what? I said, what? She goes, I don't like you. What? I said, she said, I just don't like yeah, you. Yes, I just don't she like you. She loved everybody but Pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? So yeah. I didn't know what to say after that. I said, well, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say. He goes, well, you know, you just, you just, I just don't like you at all. <laughs> <laughs> what do you tell somebody when they say you that? You can't say you? thank you. I've never heard anyone say they don't like daddy. Yeah. Well, moms or pops, like, there's just yeah. no way. That it was, was a shock to me. It really was. <laughs> but th that's what he told her. He says, "I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, that, yeah, you, I'm sorry that you, sorry don't like you don't me. like me. Maybe I like she, all you look like somebody she didn't like, or could be. I don't, I don't know, know what happened. Well, anyway, I want to. How long they've been married for? How long? We did that already. Okay. You know what? They're getting kind of old, though. No, they're not. They're getting. They're slowing Older. down. Older. Huh? Older. Older. No, they're not. No, because mom's asked pops the other day. She goes, pops. You want to go upstairs and fool around? And and he said, look, I can't do both. You get it? <laughs> la, 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 what? He couldn't go, he couldn't go up the stairs? No. no. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. <laughs> Mom, That's a he, joke. On that, on that note, I'm saying goodbye to my family because <laughs> you can't beat that one right there. Um, <laughs> bye. <laughs>
now <laughs> when we, we must, must say goodbye. Adios. Soon you'll be sailing far across the sea. While you're away, oh, please remember me. Soon you'll return, you'll find me waiting here. It's empty. Oh, oh my God. <laughs>